What is going on guys? My name is Zora and welcome back to Rick and Morty, a way back home. In the previous episode, we helped out Beth and Summer, and in this episode, who knows what will happen. But anyway, there's still a little bit we can do in this game, but there isn't really much more, so I don't exactly know how many more episodes there's going to be until there's a new update out. I'm guessing this one and perhaps another, but I don't know if there will be any more past that. But anyway, uh, so this is a, this is, a, you see, um, if you go on the phone and go to quests, um, uh, it says go on a pretend date with Summer to be continued in the next patch. But when I talk to Summer, we can return the favor, meaning we can con continue on. I don't know if it's the fact that this is a save of a previous version. That's the reason the phone is saying it will be continued in the next update. Uh, but that's a thing. Uh, let's return the favor. Morty, time for you to do your part. Oh, jeez, what do I have to do? I heard Ethan is going to hang out at the mall today. You and I will go pretend we're on, uh, we're there on a date. He'll get jealous and beg me to be his girlfriend. Th that's your brilliant plan? I found out about it less than an hour ago. I didn't exactly have time to come up with anything better. Uh, fine, let's go. Wait, I need to get changed. I'll need five minutes. A lot more than five minutes later. Summer, what the hell? Almost done. Done, what do you think? Whoa, you look really hot. First of all, ew, a simple you look nice would do, but thanks. You're welcome. Now come on, we have to hurry up and find Ethan. There he is. Who, who, who's that girl? Grace? That fucking slut. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Jesus. You're, uh, you have two X's in the mall currently. Wait, Summer, calm down. You, you can't go oh, there like this. How the hell am I supposed to calm down? She kept telling me to look out for Trisha Lang. Meanwhile, she's been trying to steal him from me. I understand, but if he sees you uh, jealous, he won't care about you at all. Just try to be cool. Act like you don't care uh, that she's with him. Uh, you're right. Let's go before we miss him. Summer? Oh, Ethan, Grace. Almost didn't see you there. What are you guys doing here? We were planning on watching a movie. Why are you here? What a coincidence. So are we. We? Summer, you're not mad or anything, are you? Me? No way. You think I'd be mad just because you stabbed me in the back? Don't worry about it. Who's the guy with you? I'm Mo Marty. His name is Marty. We're on a date. Nice to meet you. On a date? You're not jealous, are you? No, I'm glad you're enjoying our break. You you are? Movie's about to start, so we'll get going. Uh, yeah, we should get going as well. All right, then, see ya. Yeah, see you. I don't think your plan worked. We're not done yet. I can still make him jealous. Come on, we have uh, tickets to buy. So you're blaming me now? Well, I... I can't believe you. I'm going to the bathroom. That was close. Do you think she'll notice? Who cares? She deserves it for being such a bitch. Summer, wait. Ethan? Marty, was it? Do you mind giving us a minute? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll wait over there. So, Ethan, what do you want to talk about? I saw you with Marty. You were watching? Yeah, I know it was wrong, but seeing you with Marty made me think, and... It's okay, Ethan, you can tell me anything. We need to break up. What? B but I love you. I'm sorry, Summer, I need time to figure some things out. So, did he beg you to take him back? Ethan just broke up with me. Seriously? I'm going home. Summer, wait! Okay, okay, so now we're actually done with Summer's route. Okay, we're actually done with it. <laughs> it took damn long enough. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Your phone starts vibrating. Assertiveness level's going up. Okay, so let's head outside where the car is. Front yard. All right, so time for the last route. I believe this is the final route we can do, even though it is actually quite lengthy. So, um, at least from what I understand, it's a bit lengthy from what I've been told. So let's head to the pawn shop. Oh my God, that's Gwendolyn. Looks like this dimension's Morty never bought her. 70 smidgens? Yeah, that one's... Incubation chamber doesn't work, so the price is very low. 
So it can't get pregnant? Pretty much. Sweet. Hey, how many Earth dollars are 70 smidgens? Five dollars, but we don't take Earth dollars here. I've got this yo-yo, can we trade? Yo-yo, huh? Hmm. I don't know a lot about yo yo-yos, but I got a buddy who is expert. Hey, Chumley, I need your expert opinion on something. Delicious. Does this yo-yo... <coughs> oh. <laughs> Does this yo-yo look authentic to you? I don't know, Pick. It looks fake to me. Are you doing a bit from that show? The expert said it's fake, so it's fake. Best I can do is five smidgens. It's a fucking yo-yo. How can it be fake? Not to mention it cost me $15 to buy it. So are you going to trade me that sex bot or not? Okay, you have a deal. Sweet, I can't wait to get home and try her out. Gwendolyn? Hey, what you got there? It's a life-sized action figure. <laughs> hey, Morticia. Whoa, what's up with the weird sex robot? It's, it's a life-sized action figure. Right. Mom and I are going shopping. Wanna join? Sure, sounds awesome. You girls go and do that. I'll go um, upstairs. Whatever. <clears throat> Oh, it looks cool, huh? That's why you want it? My jaw is on the floor right now, okay. Oh geez, not again! You know about Gwendolyn? Of course, Rick brought, uh, bought her for me when we were in space, in a space pawn shop. You have to help me catch her. What's wrong with her? You had a Gwendolyn, but you don't know about this? You know about what? I'll explain later, help me catch her first. <clears throat> Over there! Oh no, she's heading towards uh, the window! Catch her quick! She breaks through the windows and shoots towards the sky. Oh jeez, what do we do about the window? That's gonna kill us. I'm going after her. Huh? How? Rick's car, I have the keys. I'm coming with you. You can't, it's too dangerous. I'll be careful and I'll be super useful, promise. For fine, just promise not to tell Rick. I won't, I promise. Let's hurry up, we're already losing her. <clears throat> so we have to head outside to the car. Well, that was fun. Drive, drive faster! I can't, this is as fast as the car go, can go. Where do you think it's going anyway? I think it's heading towards Gazorpazorp. Gazorpazorp, what's that? It's the planet Gwendolyn was created on. She, um, she was created there to make Gazorp... <laughs> Gazorpazorpian babies, and I think she's pregnant. It's a mouthful to say that. Pregnant, again. What? What do you mean, again? I have a son back in my own dimension. If you knew all that, why did you finish inside her? The pawn shop guy told me she can't get pregnant. Obviously, he lied. I know, okay? What are you going to do? I don't know. She's flying towards the planet. Is this, isn't this really the planet she's supposed to go to? It looks deserted. There are parts of robots, same as Gwendolyn, all around. This has to be it. <coughs> Show me what you got. Show me what you got. What the hell is that? I don't know, but she's going inside of it. Hmm. That's weird. One of our segregates just arrived prematurely. Ugh, man. Three pumps and puff. Pregnant. Can the segregates really get pregnant that fast? I guess we're about to find out. Open her up. <clears throat> oh, great mother. Why are you scooter? Ah! What's wrong with it? Should we get rid of it? Wait, you, you can't do that. Who are you? How'd you get inside the birthing chambers? We'll explain everything, but please, you can't get rid of my baby. Your baby? This is outside of protocol. What do we do? We'll take them to the queen. She'll decide what to do. My queen, I bring before you prisoners. We found them in the birthing chambers. I am Masha, ruler of Gazorpazorp. Who are you, and why have you come to our city? My name is Morticia, and this is Morty, and well... I'm one of your robots. I, I bought it in a pawn shop, and I got it pregnant. If you could t uh, let us take it, we'll be... Oh, that's Morticia. If you could let us take it, we'll be on our way. Yeah, we'll, we'll be gone from your planet. <laughs> my, my throat is breaking! That voice, you're a man, aren't you? Uh, yeah? Huh, I have seen through your deception. Huh? 
I must admit that frail body had me confused for a bit, but my female intuition has prevailed. My voice gave it away and not the fact that I said I got the robot pregnant. I, uh, well, <clears throat> I think you've got the wrong idea. <sighs> There's a bit of a misunderstanding here. Let me explain everything. <sighs> Did you just try to mansplain to me? Man, what? He, he didn't mean anything by it. What did I do? You tried to explain it to her in a sexist way. I what? For 500 years, not a single man had stepped into our city. You came here and you immediately tried to mansplain your opinion to me. Please, I did not mean to disrespect you. <clears throat> I'm mad at you. C can we talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. W what do we do? She's a queen. Treat her like one. Hopefully she'll listen. I'll, I'll try. Your Highness, I would like to apologize and say you were right. I was being an ass. Go on. Surely someone as noble, beautiful, and kind as you would listen to a simple request. I am beautiful, aren't I? Very well, go on. One of your robots accidentally got her pregnant. And you would like for us to get rid of it? No, I want to take my robot and the kid and go back to my planet. You wish to raise it on your own? Yes. One of the guards leans over and whispers something to Masha. What? Are you certain of this? Yes, I see. I'm afraid we can't allow you to take the child. She will be staying here. It's a girl? Yes. Whoa, I have a daughter. And a son now. I don't understand, though. How come I can't raise her back on Earth? Morty Jr. was from Gazorpazorp as well, yet nobody cared about him. I do not know of this Morty Jr., but this child, she is special. Special how? She's the future princess of Gazorpazorp. This baby is my daughter. But, but how? I only had sex with Gwendolyn. You named the birthing unit. Uh, yeah? Her uh, Gwendolyn's birthing chamber was loaded with my eggs. Do you really think the robots gave birth on their own? Kinda. Shasha will be fine here. You may leave. You already named her? Yes, I have named her after her grandmother, which also happens to be my favorite brand of makeup. Didn't, don't I get a say in this? Why would you? She's mine as much as she's yours. Grinding against the birth unit for a few minutes doesn't make you her parent. Putting your eggs in a robot doesn't either. I'm her parent just as much as you are. Morty, stop. What, you're on their side now? Maybe we should leave her here. They'll take good care of her and she'll, she'll be their princess. She's my princess too and I'm her father. I deserve to be a part of her life. Don't you think she'll be happier this way? She might, but I don't want her to grow up not knowing who her father is. <coughs> well. <laughs> All the women around you start tearing up. I never knew my father. I never knew my father, who my father was either. I think not knowing my father has left a void in my heart, which I keep filling with rent. Damn it, I skipped for. Oh my god, I think I have that too. We should let him stay and raise her. I don't see any harm in that. Are you mad you want a man to raise our future queen? Letting him stay is basically going against everything we believe in. Everybody please, calm down. I say we all have different opinion I see we all have different opinions on the matter. As you all know, she is my daughter, but she is also your future queen. Thus, I will let you decide whether he stays or goes. Please vote by raising your hand if you want Morty to participate in the raising of your queen. I mean, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten hands, okay? So I'm staying. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't fucking know, okay? I don't, I, I don't know. Morty, you won. What, really? The Gazorpians have voted. Morty shall stay to raise Shasha with me. I want to hold her. Take us to Shasha, or Sasha. Oh my god, she is... I know, as a parent, I didn't want to admit it, but you might be the only one able to understand me. Understand what? Her deformity, the lack of hands, makes her hideous. But we're her parents. We have to pretend we love her, no matter how ugly she is. What are you talking about? She's beautiful. Oh, now you're trying to say I'm a terrible parent for uh, thinking my child is ugly? Yes. <gasps> oh, and by the way, I, I want to change her name. What's wrong with her name? I want to have a say in it. And to what exactly do you want to change it to? I'm, uh, 
Crystal! Crystal? Why not just make her a stripper from now? Fine, whatever. I'll come up with something better later. Later when? Don't rush me! What? Look what you did now. Come here, little one. Oh, your first marriage quarrel. We're not married, and thank God for that. Do you want me to stay here with you? No, if Rick comes looking for us, things might escalate for the worse. What should I do then? Go back to Earth. If he asks, tell him I'm looking for plasma. All right, but how long do you think you'll be here? Morty Jr. was a full adult within a day, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, then I'll come back tomorrow. Call me if you need anything. Thanks, I will. <clears throat> I'll be heading for my manicure appointment. Handle Sh Sasha until then. Aren't you going to, you know, breastfeed her? Do my breasts look like baby formula to you? Give her a bottle. Oh, okay, geez. I guess I'll be raising her on my own as well. Come on, girl, let's uh, get you something to eat. To be continued in the next episode. What's up, guys? Carrie here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, check out our previous video here. Or if you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon here. There's also a video that was picked up on YouTube just for you. And lastly, you can click here to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace off!